What's up out there, We The Kicks Army? Welcome to episode nine. Your boy Cooks has been gone for a little bit, but I got tons to show you. Stay tuned right now. A little different this time. Uh, I told myself that money would never be a factor. Now I'm laughing at Benny Hanna's with benefactors. My sell my soul for an artist's love with them giant raptors. My chef cooking that steak and lobster on giant platters. Forsaken all I can for the- Hey guys, welcome back. Another pair added to the vault, another Jordan pair. Um, so you know your boy Cooks is a sucker for a pair of white kicks, right? But this is the complete opposite of that. And let me tell you, I am really stoked about this pair. It's not a hard pair to get. You can get it online for retail or just under on StockX, whatever. But let's just say I love when Jordan or I do something different. I love different. So let's take a look at these. These are your Air Jordan 1 uh, Defiance, also known as Air Jordan 1 Coutures. Um, it has a luxurious leather feel to it. Uh, the tongue is also luxurious leather. You can see it's a nice shiny leather. They have the cream sole, just brings out the red line across. So let's talk about that red line for a second. So when I've been doing my research on where this design for this shoe came from, um, people have been talking about the band line. So, you know, they always talk about those shoes that were Michael Jordan was banned from wearing. So this is almost like, a, they, people are saying it's a highlight of the swoosh and exactly what um, the NBA had a problem with back in 84 or 85 when Jordan came out with this. Uh, it's like highlighting it. But, like the band, a couple years ago when they came out with that line. But let's talk about something for a sec. It has nothing to do with that as far as Nike's concerned. Nike says that this line and this design is taken from exotic sports car, Italian sports cars. So I kind of see where they're coming from on that, but I also see where the Jordan fans are saying, that's just a band line wrapped across. Either or, crazy shoe, the Jordan Defiant, one, Couture, check it out. Like I said, not a hard pair to get, but definitely an instant classic for your collection. Welcome back, guys. Uh, we don't talk very much Converse uh, within the vault or within We The Kicks, uh, but I do say since Nike bought Converse, let's say three, four years back, things for Converse have been looking up. So one of the things that I saw online and like I said, I'm not a big Converse guy. I have a few in my collection. Was Perks and Minis is a, uh, a clothing company uh, or designing company. They teamed up with Converse, and I have to show you this pair of shoes. I'm from the north. It gets cold up here. I thought what they did with this shoe was pretty cool. And you know me, I love different ideas, people throwing things around, and being different with shoes. So here we go. Let me show you. So it comes in a nice Perks and Mini Converse box. You know, a nice paper on the way in, a little designer. So here we go. Let me show you what these look like, okay? So at first glance, they look like your normal Converse shoe with like, let's call it like a George Costanza puffy jacket out, right? So the outer is a like a puffy winter jacket, right? Keeps you nice and warm. So now here's where the shoe gets real cool, okay? So see these zippers here, guys? Literally. This is shoe transforms in front of your eyes. So you go like this, around, 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 and now you take this off, and this shoe is now called the mutation. So I'm not gonna remove that immediately right now, but it does come off, so it's the mutation. It becomes now a summer shoe. Get a better view at it, right? So no more, no more, see how they did it too with no more uh, laces? They did the, it's basically a slip-on high top. So shout out to Person Mini and Converse. What a great idea. You have basically a winter shoe sneaker and a summer sneaker all in one. Great job, guys. Keep up the creativity. I love it. What's up, guys? I love having you guys in the vault, by the way, just to mention. First of all, I want to show you this cool shirt I picked up at the Nike store. It's uh, Nike Sportswear. They have a sick spring collection coming out. Check it out. I make no money from this. I'm just telling you. I feel good. I look good. Check it out. Anyways, you know I love, you know your boy Cooks loves a good collab. Um, so I spoke in prior episodes, let's say my three top favorite collabs of, of all time. Let's say I love the Kendrick Lamar stuff. I love the Virgil stuff from Off-White, anything he did with the Nike stuff. But I will give a shout out. Like I said in prior episodes, I don't like his music, but I love what he's doing with Nike, and that's the Travis, that's Travis Scott. 
Big shout out to Tavis Scott. I've showed you his stuff in the past, what I have in my collection. Well, I've added something new to the vault. These are the Jordan 33s Travis, Travis Scott Cactus Jacks. I'm telling you, this maybe go down as one of the shoe of the year. And let me show you why, okay? So, you, everyone's already, I've shown you guys the 33 in prior episodes, so you see, you all know what it looks like. Let's just say that Travis has taken it to the next level. So let me show you the first shoe first, okay? So there you go, guys. So there it is, it's in your green and your brown colors. And I love that he doesn't stick to your normal colors. He tries something different, right? And at, let me tell you, every shoe is different too. So this one has the Jordan symbol at the top on the tongue, it has the orange pull tab. And like I explained in the past episodes, to tighten these shoes because they have no license, up, up on the pull, and then this is the release. So let me just show you. So here's the one shoe, okay? And if you can see, it says AJ33, designed and engineered to the exact specifications of Travis. All right, so very cool shoe, but to make it even cooler is the next one that he did is different, right? So he didn't keep it the same. He used a different pole, you see that there? And he also put Travis uh, Cactus Jack on the tongue. It's just a great colorway for a Jordan 33. This may go down as one of the shoes of the year. And remember, your boy Cooks told you. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the vault. Listen, anytime your boy Cooks here gets to talk about a pair of Jordan 4s, I'm in heaven. You know that's where this all started from, those original white Jordan 4s with the black. Anyways, you know my story if you watch the episodes. So let's talk about this pair. This pair is called the Jordan 4 Retro uh, Flight Nostalgia, released March 2nd, 2019. Um, I had to get these just because they do look a lot like the original pair I fell in love with way back when. So let's take a look at these quickly. They have updated and they have added a few different touches to them. You have almost your paint spray along the bottom sole here and along the strap here. You have a, let's call it a, a, a highlighted pink or a highlighted red as your color accent. I just think, man, this shoe, for a summer shoe, and I plan on busting these during the summer, is stellar. Because you know, God, sucker for a white pair of shoes. So there it is. It's your Jordan 4 Nostalgia, Flight Nostalgia, sorry, and uh, March 2nd, 2019. Definitely you can find a pair on StockX or even still at a Foot Locker for retail. I'd get one of you if I were you.